So what is the best time of your day? Um, is it the morning, early morning? Is it late morning? Is it afternoon, early afternoon, late afternoon? Is it early evening, late evening? Is it deep evening, a night owl? Personally, I love evenings. For some reason, the pressure of the day, the things that I had wanted to do or was supposed to do are either done or not, and so the pressure is eased off. Evening is the time when I get to reflect and quieten my mind after a day of up and down. I want to go back to Genesis chapter 2. And just looking at our Bible in Genesis chapter 2, uh, we encounter what God did with Adam and Eve in the evenings. The Bible tells us that in chapter 3, actually in the fall, that is when we get actually the practice that God used to do with Adam and Eve. In chapter 3 verse 8, Then the man and the woman heard the sound of God, of the Lord God, as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? So we, we see from that um, passage, that short verse in a context of Genesis, it shows us what God and Adam, like a periodic uh, thing that they used to do. And we are told that the first thing is that man and woman would hear, in this case, they heard the sound, the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. How is that? How, how, how do you make sound as you're walking uh, in the garden? Uh, um, meaning maybe his feet, I don't know, walking. Walking he is, gives the connotation of feet. It gives the... It, it connotes, um, yes, th there's grass or leaves or whatever it is that's being stepped on. And so th there's, there's, there's life, there's movement. Um, and then the, here in verse chapter eight, chapter 3, verse 8, we are told that he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Remember that God had already given Adam and Eve responsibilities. So I'm sure he, I, I think from scripture, that he, he, I mean, come and see how, what's up. It's like uh, having a, a, a supervisor, no, I didn't want to say a boss, but a supervisor who has given you work and, and especially a supervisor who loves you, who want to hang around you, just ask you how are things, what are you thinking, what are your thoughts, how are things moving. So in that cool of the day, God was walking and in this, on this day, particular day, they, the Bible says that they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But we hear when God didn't find them, or rather when they didn't appear on the first uh, notice of his, of his presence, God calls them. And, and that's where we are, many of us. Um, we don't notice the presence of God. Um, at whatever time in the day, uh, it's the time of day for you, either in that season or that time when you notice that God is here. And I want to say that God is here all the time. And I want to encourage us to have the practice of the presence of God, seeing God in every little thing that we do, because indeed he is there. And in these matters of, of finding time, um, it is possible to find time and to make time. Whether you are an evening person, a morning person, a day person. But God is always looking for us to fellowship with him. Every day he's calling out. Are you hearing him? Father, I thank you because of this air day. Thank you for the day has come to an end. Help us, Father, to be able to have a keen ear to listen to you when you call us. And especially when your presence is around us, which is all the time. Help us practice the presence in everything we do for the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.